Oh, the fall festival is finally here. I'm so excited, I don't even know where to start. As it was always intended, this town is going to have a seasonal festival every last day of the season. So there is going to be a different theme with different activities every time. Of course, we are starting this year off with the fall season and therefore, today's festival is going to be the Harvest Festival. On this day, we are going to look back on everything that has happened this season and looking at The Sims once is going to give us a glimpse into the future and into next season's possible stories. But we are also letting The Sims wander around this lot freely, so we should be prepared for some spontaneous actions too. So it all started this morning when Adriana the mayor got up really early to do some last moment preparations and do a final checkup on the most important attractions of this festival. So let's take a little tour of all the festival has to offer. I've been talking a lot about this festival and I feel like I've been building up like a expectation. I am really happy with how it turned out but it was a lot of work and I have no idea if I'm living up to any expectations but uh, it's been really fun building it and I think it's going to be really fun to finally see all the sims walk around on this lot, visiting the stalls, buying the items and just having a fun day together to celebrate the last day of the season, the fall season, and to celebrate their first week of living in this town together as a new community in a new neighborhood. And as I mentioned before, the town is still a work in progress and you can see that by the surrounding buildings. The town square is supposed to be surrounded by all kinds of shops surrounding the entire town square and uh, half of them are still missing. But we're working on it and uh, we're getting there, we're getting there. So let's get this party started, the shops are ready, so let's bring in the guests. Everybody contributed something and since Natasha owns the local bakery, she is the one that baked all of the berry pies and pumpkin cupcakes that she is serving here. Now all of the shopkeepers in town contributed something to this festival. The biggest reason for that was that the mayor was so excited about how amazing it was going to be that she talked most of the shop owners into contributing. Of course she had to be excited about it because she was the one organizing it and she wants it to be a big success. Not only for this town, but also to be noticed and to be considered a successful mayor by other towns. But slowly, they all started seeing that organizing something like this, all together with their neighbors, could really mean something for this community. But let's get back to Natasha. So, we saw her in the episode about the bakery. And while helping her out, Gordon and Natasha really have gotten to know each other pretty well. He gave her a lot of tips and tricks since he is a retired celebrity chef. And during their lunch breaks, they talked a lot and uh, really have grown quite fond of each other. Of course, we know that Gordon has some romantic intentions, but we will have to see how Natasha is going to react to that since she is so much younger. She has no other romantic interests at this point and she is more than happy to let Gordon help her. So while she is serving the cakes, Gordon is tending her stall and selling her cakes, and which gives her more than enough time to socialize and mingle with the other guests. So here we can see her talking to her best friend Lorraine, who she grew up with and went to college with. And they moved here together from uh, Simsville. So her first season has really been all about getting her bakery started and setting up. She has a few wants to be friends with people, including Gordon, who, where we can see that she's attracted to him. But she's also really attracted to Vernon, but she hasn't talked to him a lot. so. Maybe that is something that is going to happen in the winter, who knows? He is of course also attending this festival, so we might have to keep an eye on that. And then we move on to Rick's stall. Rick is of course a local gardener and he is promoting his uh, gardening services right here. We haven't gotten around to his household yet, but we did meet him in the episode about the farms and mixing business with pleasure. He helped Roland out, tending his crops and making sure that his first harvest was done before the end of the season. And at the end of that episode something happened to him, which meant that he had to visit the doctor. So I'm going to insert a clip from that visit right here. Currently we are at Vernon Radford's house. He is the town doctor and we haven't really introduced him yet. We introduced him shortly, 
but he is still a little bit mysterious. He seems to be missing the necessary scales to actually be a doctor. So we don't know how he ended up here, but we do know that he just cured Rick. So there's nothing stopping him from his romantic pursuits anymore. So Rick Stahl is really all about promoting his gardening services. He doesn't have a lot of customers yet because there aren't many gardens, but soon that is going to grow. Back to the festival behind Rick, we see Adriana making her rounds and talking to everyone. She finds it her job as the mayor to make sure that everybody is having fun. We haven't seen her episode yet, but the next episode is going to be all about her, about the mayor, about the town hall and about the town's finances. So I think Adriana is trying to stay professional and not show that they've had some juicy moments together. During Eduardo's party, while they thought everyone was in the other room, they sneaked off and didn't need more than 10 minutes to have a woo-woo on Eduardo's couch. Daniel also regularly calls her for a booty call, and I think they make a cute match, but Daniel is a romance sim, so I'm not sure if this is gonna last, and Adriana is a fortune sim who I think wants more out of life than being married to a bar owner. And even though he's very successful at it, and the people of this town all regularly eat and drink there instead of cooking for themselves, which means he will expand soon, she just wants someone who can give her more power, more status, and is not sure that Daniel is that someone. She does want to marry a rich sim though, so who knows. But let's move on to the most important stall of this harvest festival. Roland George is of course a local farmer and he is here to sell all the produce that he has harvested in the last few days. He has worked really hard on that and it's the start of his farming business. And he worked right up until the morning of the festival to get everything harvested. So that means that he now has an inventory full of fresh tomatoes and fresh cucumbers to sell to everyone who uh, comes to his stall. So that means he had little to no time for some romance, but that is going to change today. Roland had of course promised Rosa that he would meet her at the fall festival. They talked a lot on the phone after they first met and they have gotten really close so far. But he was way too busy with setting up his farm and tending to his crops to even take a few minutes away for a proper date. Now that they are both here, there is no reason that he couldn't take a few moments out of his busy day to spend some time with her. So Rosa is asking him how his first season went and how his crops are doing and that she thinks it must be really exciting to run a farm. And he tells her it has been all he could ever wish for. He had to work really hard for it and some days even work late into the night to get things done, but it was all worth it. And she's like, okay, so wow, you must be really wanting to have some fun right now, right? And he tells her that spending time with her is really the only thing he has been looking forward to and is all he wants and needs right now. So they are going to grab a quick bite to eat. And uh, as you can see, they now both want to get engaged. And I think that is so, so cool. I'm just so excited for this couple because they are two family sims. So they are probably going to start a family soon and have lots of babies. But also because this was Cherry Blossom Springs first couple right from the start when they met each other at the meet and greet and they just started kissing right in the middle of the dining room they just never had eyes for anyone else since they both fulfilled a really big want they're going to have a dream date right away and uh, well i think that's uh, as efficient as uh, roland wanted it to be <laughs> and he already has his mind on the next farming season with the storms and frost coming up and the sun disappearing, he needs a new plan for winter. So he is going to end the date and hurry back to his stall because he still has a lot of stuff that he wants to sell. So this festival is of course going to last the entire day and lots more is going to happen during the afternoon and evening. But that is something that we are going to see in part 2 of this episode next week. And I would love for you to join us then. But for now, I want to thank you so much for watching, like if you enjoyed and subscribe if you want to see more. Bye!